The life of Emperor Yongle was a significant reason for China's achievements in exploration and construction. This map shows the Ming Dynasty, which was the dynasty Emperor Yongle ruled. Yongle lived from 1360 to 1424. His reign of the Ming Dynasty was from 1402 to 1424. Yongle was born a prince out of a total of 26 princes. Yongle's father managed to drive out the Mongol rulers out of China and establish the Ming Dynasty. Yongle, known as Prince Yan, was given control of the area around Beijing. Yongle, along with his father-in-law and his older half-brother, secured the sector of China from the Great Wall and back. Yongle's father, Emperor Hongwu, died on June 24, 1398. Yongle was fighting with his nephew, Emperor Jin Wei, for control of the crown. Yongle enlisted the help of Mongolian forces. Jin Wei responded with reforms to remove princes from their regional powers and to replace them with low generals. Yongle eventually gathered up his army of supporters and marched to Nanjing. His army managed to break through the resistance and attack the capital city. Yongle's army destroyed the imperial palace and Jin Wei and his wife disappeared when the fighting ended. Many say that Jin Wei and his wife died in the palace fire, but it remains a mystery to this day. Yongle was named emperor after the conflict had stopped and he established a loyal central government. Many problems were still apparent in China, however, as the countryside and the economy were both devastated. Emperor Yongle moved the capital of China from Nanjing to Beijing. Yongle once said that, Whenever I can find the time, I read history books and the classics so as to avoid idle living. I constantly remind myself that the world is so vast and state affairs so important that I cannot succumb to laziness. Major accomplishments of Emperor Yongle include the construction of the Grand Canal and the Forbidden City. The Grand Canal is the longest canal in the world and it links the Yellow River with the Yangtze River. The construction of the Grand Canal is significant because it allows faster trading which greatly improves China's economy. The Forbidden City is located in the center of Beijing. This imperial palace served as the home of emperors and political centers of Chinese government for about 500 years. Yongle also said that, Ours is the greatest nation on earth. Our philosophies, our ideals are superior. If we are going to be so easily swayed by foreign influences, then surely are we not doing something wrong. Emperor Yongle had a desire to expand Chinese influence throughout the world, so he sponsored the voyages of Zheng He. The first expedition was in 1405, and there were a total of seven expeditions. The expeditions expanded to as far as Southeast China, India, the Middle East, Mecca, and East Africa. We have beheld in the ocean huge waves like mountains rising sky high, and we have set eyes on barbarian regions far away hidden in the blue transparency of light vapors. These voyages expressed the power and wealth of the Ming Dynasty and Zheng He's leadership. On April 1st, 1424, Emperor Yongle launched a campaign to defeat an army of fleeting Tartars into the Gobi Desert. This was a failure, however, and this caused Yongle to fall into a deep depression and suffer from several strokes. On August 8th, 1424, Emperor Yongle died and was buried in the Chengling tombs located in northwest Beijing. 